American Pit Bull Terrier Origins The American Pit Bull Terrier is descended from numerous powerful working dogs. The breed is a cross between some of the toughest terriers used to hunt and kill dangerous game and bulldogs and molossoid dogs that were used to catch large game, such as wild boar, such as foxes and badgers. These bulldogs, molossoids, and terriers were sent after bears, bulls, and each other as blood sport competitors, with the most vicious dogs bringing in the most money and fame as agriculture became the norm and hunting became less of a necessity and more of a sport. In 1835, it was against the law to fight animals, including baiting dogs to fight bulls, bears, and each other. While the terror of one blood sport had finally ended, another was ready to take its place. A dog fight was much easier to hide than a bear or bull baiting, despite the difficulty of doing so. It was grit, stamina, and survival instincts that ultimately determined whether a dog would live to see the next match in the dogfighting pits as opposed to the bear and bull ring, where size and strength prevailed. The Boston Terrier, the Bull Terrier, and of course the American Pit Bull Terrier are just a few of the popular dog breeds that have their roots in the pit. Although they were champion breeds, the ancestors of today's APBTs weren't known for their size and strength, but the term pit bull stuck because of their fierce reputations. As a result, these pit bulls gained widespread notoriety, particularly in parts of the United States where dogfighting was still legal. Chauncey Z. Bennett, a dogfighter, breed enthusiast, and founder of the United Kennel Club, recognized the breed as the American Pit Bull Terrier, APBT, in 1898. Until it was outlawed in 1976, dogfighting was permitted in the U.S. for many years. Even after it was declared unlawful, dogfighting was largely disregarded and persisted in secret until recently. Today, all 50 states and U.S. territories consider dogfighting to be a crime. The breed suffered a severe blow that many people believed was irreparable due to a troubled past and ties to criminal elements. However, the American Pit Bull Terrier is thriving in its positive new role in society, serving as a wonderful family companion and a hardworking dog while also fulfilling roles in law enforcement, therapy work, and assistance for people with special needs. This is in part due to the push from law enforcement to outlaw dog fighting, as well as responsible breeding efforts by CKC dog breeders. Characteristics of the breed Head The skull type is somewhat brachycephalic. The head conveys strength and power without coming off as aggressive or excessively rough. It has a broad appearance that resembles a viper. The skull is at least as long as it is wide, as measured across the top behind the ears, occiput to stop. When viewed from the side, the skull is deep, measuring as deep as it is long, from the top of the skull to the lower jawline, from stop to occiput. The skull may appear flat or with slightly outsized temporalis muscle arches when viewed from a frontal or profile angle. Between the ears, the skull is broad. The brow has a distinct shape. There are no wrinkles or extraneous skin folds on the head. When the dog is alert, some forehead wrinkles may develop. The cheeks and the area under the eyes have good definition and padding. Medium-sized, slightly round, oval, or almond-shaped, and obliquely set eyes. They can be any color, ranging from blue to dark brown. The color that surrounds the eyes is well-fitted and pigmented on the eye rims. Never do the eyes swell outward. The orbital sockets that surround the eyes should have enough bone to shield them. Ears The highest and outermost corner of the skull is where the ears are located. Ears can be cropped or left natural. Natural ears can be drop, rose, half prick, or button shaped and should be small to medium in size. The ears on a crop are short. Ears are never too big or too long. Muzzle The muzzle is strong, broad, deep, and well built. From the stop to the tip of the nose, the muzzle's plane may be straight or have a slight taper. The muzzle forms a wedged box shape as it tapers and bluntly terminates. The lips are tightly closed, completely hiding the teeth. Strong and well-developed jaws are present. Never let the muzzle appear snippy or be too short to restrict breathing. Nose Depending on the coat, the nose may be self-colored or well-pigmented black. 
The nostrils are broad and open well. Neck. The neck is of a moderate length, allowing for head carriage and a wide range of motion. It has a slight arch and is slightly smooth but tightly muscled. The skin is well contoured, taut, and never excessively wrinkly or dewlapped. From the head to the well-placed back shoulders, the neck narrows. Chest. Deep and broad, but never wider than deep. The brisket extends to the point of the elbows. Body, compact, solid, and of good substance. The body should never appear overly massive, heavy, or of heavy bone and muscle. The body of the APBT is built for agility and stamina. Width at the forequarters is approximately equal to the width at the hindquarters. Feet. Oval to round, compact, with well-arched toes and tough pads. Tail. Set neither high nor low on the croup, but as a natural extension of the top line, thick at the base and tapering toward the tip. Carried in accordance with the dog's mood and energy level, but never tucked, curled, or carried up over the back. Tail always left natural, never docked, and of a medium length, with the tip of the last vertebrae extending to the hock joints when held down. The tail may be straight, pump handle, or gently curved. Movement. The American Pit Bull Terrier's movement must be light, springy, effortless, and tireless. It should never appear heavy, constrained, or as a rolling gait. The characteristics of healthy structure are evident. When moving away, the forelegs and rear pasterns should remain parallel to one another. When viewing movement from the front, the forelegs should remain parallel, with elbows and paws moving neither moving in nor out. From the rear, the back pads should be visible when the rear legs are extended. As speed increases, the forelimbs and hindlimbs will converge to the center line of gravity. From the side, the top line should remain firm and level. Good reach of movement in the front allows the forepaw to extend out and align with the nose. The width between the forefeet when extended should be approximately equal to the width between the hind feet when extended, indicating balance, good reach, and good drive. Dogs that exhibit any sign of breathing or locomotive difficulty shall be disqualified from the show ring. Temperament The APBT's temperament is one of the breed's best attributes. Confident, intelligent, watchful, alert, self-composed, courageous, and hopelessly devoted to their families are apt descriptions. Their terrier ancestry and bulldog size make socialization and training a necessity to ensure that they serve as goodwill ambassadors to their breed. Any unprovoked aggressive or fearful behavior toward people is incorrect for this breed. 